Hello, we are sitting in a Cessna 152 cockpit and uh, we have just departed out of uh, Begumpet Airport with Victor Oscar Hotel Yankee and we are tracking radial 090 outbound right now. In this video we will be covering different types of radial interceptions. We will do outbound to outbound, we will do outbound to inbound, inbound to outbound and finally inbound to inbound. And before that, uh, let me tell you that uh, I have already tuned in the VOR station that we are going to use. We are going to use Hotel Hotel Yankee today and the frequency is 114.7. I have already tuned in and uh, I have verified that we are on the correct frequency. You have to identify it with the Morse code. I have done that for you. And uh, let's go on tracking some radio. So I am on a heading of 090 and uh, we are on radial 090 I know that because uh, to know your position with respect to a VOR you need to set, uh, rotate this OBS needle and set it to the uh, set it such that uh, the needle comes at the center so right now it centers for me at uh, 090 and uh, this back course flag is on which tells me that it is a from radial which tells me that it is a from flag depending upon your instrument it might say from and to or it might show some arrows and they all mean the same thing so right now it is telling me from Hotel Yankee at 0 and 0 radial now let's go ahead with interceptions let's first uh, do outbound to outbound we are on uh, 0 and 0 let's assume that ATC has given us a uh, instruction to intercept radial 120 outbound the first step uh, in interception would be to know your present radial we know that we are on radial 1 correction 090 now desired radial is 120 we will go ahead and set that on the OBS so I'll set 120 here okay so the OBS is set at 120 and uh, you can see that the needle has deflected Next we need to check if this is a normal sensing or a reverse sensing. A normal sensing means that uh, it is it is a simple task that you just need to follow the needle and turn towards the direction which it shows. But reverse sensing is different. You need to avoid the needle and uh, do the opposite of what it says. We will get into that later. So for now it is a to determine which type of sensing it, uh, it is you need to look at your heading indicator. So right now my heading is uh, 0905 so what you need to check for is you need to check where 0905 lies in this OBS indicator sorry VOR indicator so if it if this heading which I am on lies in the upper half of your VOR indicator then that is counted as a normal sensing so right now my heading is 0905 0905 lies here and it is in the upper half so this is normal sensing okay so normal sensing we are going to follow the needle okay so the initial heading which we need to take to intercept is a calculation which we need to do so we are on uh, radial 090 desired radial is 120 the difference between the two radials is 30 degrees so we multiply that by a factor of 3 so that comes out to be 90 degrees and uh, we will turn uh, we have to turn right because the needle is deflected to the right and this is normal sensing so we will be turning right Fr uh, take this value desired radial value 120 and add 90 to it 90 is because uh, present radial is 090 and desired is 120 difference between them is 30 we multiply that by a factor of 3 so it gives us 90 so we are going to turn right because the needle is right from 120 by 90 degrees that that's 210 so let's turn to a heading of 210 coming up to be roll out so 
so we are going to be maintaining this heading until the needle starts moving towards the center you might have noticed that uh, I am not matching my 2d a plane with this marker here for the turn uh, this is a personal opinion I feel that if I bank that much it calls in for a too much bank uh, the bank angle gets too great so I don't completely bank up till this mark that's just my personal opinion and uh, we will skip ahead to the location where the needle starts deflecting the needle has slowly started coming in this time will vary depending upon your uh, position with respect to the VOR if you are far out it will take a long time for the needle to come closer so as soon as this needle hits this circle here I am going to start turning left to a heading of 120 right the needle is over the circle and I'm going to start turning to heading of 120 oh and one more thing this time the difference between our present radial and the desired radial was 30 degrees so 30 by 30 into 30 gives us 90 degrees but in case this value exceeds 90 degrees let's say the difference between our uh, present radial and desired radial was more than uh, 30 degrees then the number would go higher than 90 degrees so let's say it was 40 degrees so in that case what you would do is limit your turn to intercept by just 90 degrees so whatever your uh okay there you go see we are heading 120 the needle is centered and we are tracking outbound 120 yeah, and I was saying that uh, in case your uh, value exceeds 90 you have to limit it to a maximum of 90 so to intercept a different radial keep your turns maximum to a heading of 90 degrees don't cross that so if the difference between your present radial and the desired radial is more than 30 degrees then that number will obviously exceed 90 degrees but even in that case limit your turn to 90 degrees okay so we have done outbound to outbound now we can go ahead and do the next one let's look at outbound to inbound so as you already know we are on outbound 120 let's say ATC has asked us to intercept inbound of 100 so anytime you have to do an inbound interception we need to go ahead and set that radial which you want to intercept at the bottom of your your indicator so I want one zero zero radial to be intercepted so I'm going to set that at the bottom of the VR indicator let me do that okay so I have one zero zero set here and that is what we want to track but this time it's going to be an inbound radial so first thing like previous one we need to check if it is a normal sensing or a reverse sensing my heading is 120 and 120 does not lie anywhere in the upper half so this time it is a reverse sensing so with a reverse sensing let's see what to do the needle is on the right side needle has deflected to the right side so this is a reverse sensing so I will not be following the needle, I will follow against the needle. So I will be turning left for this intercept. And uh, regarding my heading to pick, we were on radial 120, we are on radial 120 and desired is uh, 100, difference is 20 degrees and 20 by 3, 20 into 3 gives us 60 degrees. So we are going to, now which direction to turn, you have to, to uh, consider the direction of the needle. So 
needle is on the right side so i'll be adding so right side is an increment of heading so i'll be adding to my desired track 60 degrees to my desired track desired uh, track is uh, my uh, the needle points right now at 280 and 280 plus 60 gives me 340 i'm going to turn left to 340 to intercept inbound radial 100 this might sound very confusing but uh, once you get the hang of it it becomes quite natural is coming up and there comes 340 so we are on 340 heading 340 and we will wait for the needle and once it centers we turn left to whatever heading it points at it points at 280 so once the needle starts moving in and is over the circle we will start turning left towards 280 let's just uh, move ahead jump ahead to that part the needle has started moving and as soon as hits the circle we start our turn to the left of heading 1 correction 280 the needle gets sensitive as you get close to the close to the vor and it is not as sensitive when you are far away from it so the needle is over the circle i'm beginning my turn to the left for a final letting of 280 notice that the needle is not perfectly centered so if we give it some more corrections this time it is uh, normal sensing you just have to follow the needle a little bit to the right and we'll take heading 280 again when the needle comes to center let's just stay on this heading 300 same thing which i said earlier the needle is not so sensitive when you're far away and it takes its own speed time to move okay i consider this pretty much centered so i'm going to go back to heading 280 so the two flag is here i'm going to the station and uh, it says when whenever the flag is two you have to look at the bottom of the needle to know your radial you are on radial 100 you're going inbound on radial 100 so that was outbound to inbound next let's do inbound to inbound so inbound to inbound would be let's say we are on radial 100 right now inbound let's say we have to go inbound on 120 so the same thing as the last time we need to set our obs uh, we need to set the bottom part of obs to the desired radial so we'll set 120 on the bottom 
there. I've set 120 here. And uh, the difference between desired track and present track is 20 degrees again. 20 into 3 is 60 degrees. Let's see if it is no normal sensing or reverse sensing. My heading is 275. 275 lies here. So it is in the upper half, which means it is normal sensing. I can follow the needle. So I have to fly left. The needle says so. And uh, we calculated we have to uh, give a deflection of 60 degrees. So the heading on the top here says 300. So left from 300 by 60 degrees gives me 240. So I'm going to turn left to a heading of 240 and we'll wait for the needle to set. Let's jump ahead to the point where needle is. The needle has started coming in. As I said, things are pretty quick when you are close to the VR. This time, when the needle hits the circle, we are going to turn right to a heading of 300 that's shown on top of the VR indicator. I'm going to begin the turn a little bit late since the needle is very sensitive here. Okay, I'm going to begin my turn now. inbound on the radial 120 and you can see the two flag is on you're going to the station and whenever the reading says to the station you have to consider this radial which is shown at the tail of the center of the line needle the tail says 120 we are on 120 radial we are doing inbound let's look at the final one we will do inbound to outbound let's say we have to intercept 180 outbound so first thing is uh, outbound you have to always set the needle uh, the desired needle on the top let's set 180 on the top there 180 and my present radial is 120 difference is 60 degrees and before that let's see if we are on a reverse sensing or a direct sensing my heading is 300 300 is not on the upper half 300 is here it's on the low half of the your indicator so it is a reverse sensing and the difference is uh, 180 minus 120 is 60 degrees 16 to 3 is 180 I'm not going to give a 180 degree correction to my heading so that's just going to be a 90 degree correction as I said if it exceeds 90 keep it uh, keep uh, keep it capped at 90 so this tells me I have to turn right needle tells me I have to turn right but this is reverse sensing I will be turning left but uh, I will be taking a heading to the right of the VOR indicator top of the VOR indicator top says 180 so 180 plus 90 will give me 270 I'll turn left heading 270 and we'll wait for the need with the area I can see the lake here this is the Hussein Sagar lake so technically when we are abeam the lake that should be somewhere around radial 180 let's jump ahead to when the needle comes near the center the needle has started coming in and 
there is the lake and the power station somewhere there. So in case you are uh, making such big uh, changes to the radials, it will take time. So radial 180, I'm turning to 180, heading 180 as well. Short it a bit. It takes a, gives a correction. I am on heading 180, but you can see the needle has gone a bit to the left, so I'm going to give it some correction. I'm going to turn left to 150 for the needle to center again. Heading 180, radial 180, outbound from Old Lord Yankee. That was it. We have covered all four types outbound to outbound, outbound to inbound, inbound to outbound, and inbound to inbound. The order might have been different in the video, but uh, that was it. Thanks for watching. I might have been a bit rusty here, but it's been a long time since I've done this. And blue skies.